Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you here today with Richard Matoyan, President of American Pistachio Growers. You know, usually around this time of the year, we enjoy the APG Annual Conference, and it's always been a wonderful event. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, like many other industry events, we haven't been able to to go anywhere, you know? Yeah. And so that's we're going to be sad to miss that. But one of the highlights that I really like getting out of, of the conference is the, the great information on, on where the industry stands, as well as acreage. Mm-hmm. And so I was hoping you could give us an update on, on pistachio acreage. That's, that number has been trending up pretty yes. steadily. And so what, what can we expect here in the future? Yeah, so the uh, the numbers of bearing acres of pistachios is is something that obviously that every grower keeps keeps an eye uh, on. Um, certainly, wanting to know where we're going in the future, how many pounds we're going to produce. It's based upon the number of acres that are planted in the ground and when they're going to come into bearing. Uh, I will note to you that uh, the the numbers that are reported from the administrative committee for pistachios. In January of this year, um, they revised their numbers, and their numbers were revised upward for the amount of bearing acres. Um, What had been determined is that they didn't have the the best accurate numbers, uh, particularly from nurseries uh, that are to report the the number of trees that are sold to growers. Um, There wasn't uh, the best um, determination of maybe acres that had come out of the ground due to bushy top. Uh, so they engaged with Land IQ, did some satellite imagery to determine the number of actual pistachio bearing acres. And uh, what I'll report to you is that originally for 2020, we thought that there was 306,000 bearing acres in the ground. We now know that there was 371,000 bearing acres in the ground. And for 2021, we had originally believed there were somewhere around 325,000 bearing acres. We now know that that's 409,000 bearing acres. So a substantial jump. Um, That doesn't change the production. The production is going to be what the production is. uh, But we now know that there are more acres in the ground. Um, I think what, what it indicates as we compare it with the amount of production is we're really starting to see the effect of pistachios that are being planted on less than desirable ground or on ground that has less than adequate water, uh, that they may not be producing as much on a per acre basis. And that's kind of mixed into the total number. Uh, But we're really starting to see see that effect. Yeah, I mean, because like you said, production and what we get out of it, we we see the Mm -hmm. numbers. um, But that, that goes to show that average... You know, average tonnage per acre is is a little less, right, than we expect. Yes, yeah. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, But what this helps us do is to provide a trend line for now what is the amount of bearing acres that that are going to be in production every year for the next several years. And more importantly, what the anticipated production could be. And we like to be able to plan out and make sure our mantra has always been to market ahead of the anticipated production. We want to make sure that consumers are you know, ready, willing, and able to buy pistachios. And we certainly don't want to wait till we hit a big crop to do marketing. We need to set up all that marketing in advance in these various countries that we're in. And, and this just helps us get a better idea of where we're going to be for the future. That's great. Well, thank you so much for the update, and we, we, we certainly see pistachios maintaining a good market here. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com. 